Fast X's surprise appearances of Gal Gadot and The Rock were stunning, but Fast and Furious 11 may be even more shocking if a few rumored hypotheses come to pass. The Fast Saga's last installment, Fast X, was anticipated to contain the biggest ensemble cast ever. The cast of characters in Fast X was amazing, but the movie also brought back two well-known figures near the conclusion, Jaisal and Hobbs. Gal Gadot's return as Jaisal in Fast X was a significant reveal, even though Dwayne Johnson's return to Fast and Furious had been anticipated before the film's release. Another illustration of how everything is possible in the Fast Saga is that Jaisal was actually not dead after all. The following 10 Fast and Furious 11 hypotheses outperform everything Fast X ever done. 10 in Fast and Furious 11, Brian has a major role. Fast and Furious has refrained from bringing the character back since the death of Paul Walker. Fast X, F9, and the fate of the Furious all showed that Brian was okay in taking care of his family. But with Mia joining the action in both Fast 9 and Fast X, Brian's absence is starting to stand out more and more. It is hard to believe that Brian would choose to stay away from helping his buddies while Dante Reyes is pursuing everyone Dom cares about and posing a threat to Toretto's family. As a result, Brian, who is now generated utilizing deep fake and face replacement techniques, could play a bigger part in Fast 11. Nine father of Dominic Toretto is still alive. Fast and Furious is about family, thus learning that Toretto's father is still alive would be the biggest narrative shock in the series. Fast and Furious plot was initiated by Jack Toretto's passing since it immediately led to Dom's first arrest. In retrospect, Jack Toretto's passing also contributed to Jacob's separation from Dom and Mia as he got older. At this time, Fast and Furious has virtually always brought back every deceased character, thus no death recon is too far-fetched for the Fast saga, particularly if he makes a comeback as a villain. A Dom's father is alive surprise would match the tone of the series and build up a dramatic Fast and Furious finale. In Fast 11, Ryan Reynolds' Hobbs and Shaw character is back. One of the many unexpected Hobbs and Shaw cameos was Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds had a fleeting appearance as Victor Locke, a CIA agent who briefs Hobbs on a covert operation, in the Fast and Furious spin-off. Additionally, Hobbs and Shaw was directed by David Leitch, who also helmed Deadpool 2. Ryan Reynolds and Dwayne Johnson are buddies. As a result, Reynolds' appearance in Hobbs and Shaw was not necessary intended to usher in a new character for the series. Still, if Ryan Reynolds makes an appearance in Fast and Furious 11, what began as a lighthearted cameo might develop into something more. Reynolds' Victor Locke may make an appearance now that both Dwayne Johnson's Hobbs and Jason Statham's Shaw are back. 7 The Hobbs and Shaw character played by Kevin Hart appears in Fast 11. Ryan Reynolds' cameo in Hobbs and Shaw was comparable to Kevin Hart's. Hart and Johnson have been close friends for a long time and have acted in a number of films together. In Hobbs and Shaw, Kevin Hart portrays Dinkley, a federal air marshal who becomes embroiled in Hobbs and Shaw's mission. Hart's Marshal Dinkley was very much a story device, similar to Reynolds' Victor Locke, made more fascinating by the unexpected presence. Hobbs and Shaw 2 is not currently in the works, thus the next Fast and Furious 11 is the ideal movie to officially add Ryan Reynolds and Kevin Hart to the Fast saga. However, a cameo in Fast and Furious 11 is what would really make those two characters seem like part of the Fast and Furious franchise. Both actors might even make a comeback in The Rock's next Fast and Furious spin-off. 6 in Fast and Furious 11, Dominic Toretto perishes. Toretto's death would be a great way for Fast and Furious 11 to shock viewers. Of course, Dominic Toretto passing away in Fast and Furious 11 sounds extremely improbable, demonstrating what a major twist it would be. Even though Vin Diesel has hinted at Fast and Furious 12 but no official announcement has been made, it is still unknown how many more Fast and Furious films will be made. If another Fast and Furious movie was still in the works, Dominic Toretto's dying in that installment would not make sense. Fast and Furious might bring the series to a close with Dom's passing, though, assuming Fast X's sequel is indeed the last as first predicted. 5 Another fight between The Rock's Hobbs and Vin Diesel's Toretto Hobbs, played by The Rock, hasn't been in a Fast and Furious film for over two films because he only made an appearance in Fast X's post credit sequence. Much though Dwayne Johnson's return to Fast and Furious is already major news, a battle between The Rock's character and Vin Diesel's Dominic Toretto would make Hobbs' homecoming much more exciting. Even though Dom and Hobbs have been fighting alongside one another ever since the conclusion of Fast 5, there has always been some friction between the two characters. Even if it results from a misunderstanding, a Dom vs. Hobbs rematch would be awesome. It would also be quite meta if Johnson and Diesel's character engaged in combat. For Hobbs is killed by Dante Reyes in Fast and Furious 11. Dominic Toretto was the objective of Dante Ray's strategy in Fast X the person who actually killed Dante's father, nevertheless, was Luke Hobbs. Even though Hernan Reyes was killed as a result of the mission led by Dominic Toretto, Hobbs really fired the shot. Because of the post credit sequence from Fast X, Dante's retaliation in Fast and Furious 11 will finally make sense. Hobbs is the one who murdered his father, and Dante is on the hunt for him. As Fast and Furious draws to a close, Dante might kill Hobbs in a shocking turn of events. This notion is highly improbable unless Fast and Furious spin-off starring The Rock is a prequel. 
3. Another cliffhanger is left at the end of Fast and Furious 11. Given that Fast and Furious 11 was once declared to be the final Fast and Furious movie, a cliffhanger was to be expected after Fast X ended. Fast the 11th of May follow in the footsteps of its predecessor and also finish on a cliffhanger, though, if there is a Fast and Furious 12, it may be difficult to divide a conclusion into three sections, and doing so runs the danger of making Fast and Furious resolution exceedingly difficult. A Fast and Furious 11 cliffhanger can, however, be made to relate to the genuine Fast Saga climax if done correctly. Fast 11's conclusion may have the heroes losing rather than leaving the audience wondering what happened to them. As Fast X's did, too in Fast and Furious 11, time travel will be included. Nothing is too unlikely for the Fast and Furious series now that they have traveled to space in F9. Fast and Furious is frequently criticized for how ridiculous the series turned out to be, moving from road heists to driving automobiles in space. However, the most of the crazier Fast and Furious speculations never materialized. One example is time travel. Fast and Furious 11 would be the ideal movie to do it if Fast and Furious were to actually make the time travel hypothesis a reality, similar to Avengers and Game. The upcoming Fast and Furious movie may include Dominic Toretto's family going back in time to honor the Fast Saga's history before it comes to an end. Fast and Furious 11 makes ludicrous use of time travel, which is implausible but yet possible. Time travel could be possible in a world when super hacking software and cutting edge automotive technology exist. One crossovers between Fast and Furious 11 and other franchises. The Fast Saga is set in the same world as another significant pop culture phenomenon, according to the most influential Fast and Furious 11 hypothesis. One of the popular Fast and Furious jokes about how ridiculous the series has turned out is that Dominic Toretto's family will one day see or battle dinosaurs from Jurassic Park or the Transformers. Similar to the time travel hypothesis, it is extremely implausible but not impossible for the Fast and Furious franchise to continue after Fast X for instance. Universal is the producer of the Fast and Furious and Jurassic World movie series. As the Fast Saga comes to a conclusion, crossovers with other franchises may now be in Fast and Furious future. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown. Good to see you guys. Follow me to that plane. We're right behind you. Devil is coming. Law man. Well, I ain't hard to find.